Good evening everyone. If you have ever wondered how to get really sharp images, especially for the web, like Facebook or Instagram, then you now have found the right video. This time I want to show you how you can sharpen your images using a free plugin, which was created by the Austrian photographer Andreas Resch. And it just takes a few clicks to get the perfectly sharp image. First you want to download the plugin. Um, you can find the link in the description below. Uh, sadly, this website seems to be only German, so uh, I hope I can provide you with a direct download link. And again, this plugin is completely free, so you can just download it and go on. So once you have downloaded the plugin and uh, extracted it, you have those files. And uh, the installation is pretty straightforward. So to install the script, you just need to go to File, Script, and then Browse. And then just head to the um, script folder and select the installer JSX and then click on load. Once you have done this, you need to restart Photoshop. And after that, you can uh, sharpen your images with like three clicks. Again, you go to file scripts and then um, choose the web sharpener. There you have a few settings available. They aren't really that important in my opinion. If you want, you can also add a, a custom watermark, but I just uh, focus on the sharpening. And what you basically do here is you just uh, set the final size. For example, for Instagram, you want to have 1080 pixels on the long edge. And then you can choose which sharpening method you want to use. This one on the left uh, produces less noise, I think. And on the right side is more for landscape photography. So I'm normally going with the right one. And now the script starts to sharpening your image. And as you can see, it's really sharp. Actually, it's um, a little bit too sharp, so that's not a problem. You just select a sharpening group layer and reduce the opacity a little bit. Just to give you a little comparison, this is the result of the web sharpener. And that's the result sharpening in Photoshop by just downscaling the image on the same size. And as you can see, it really does a great job at sharpening. I hope this video solved some of the confusion going on about uh, sharpening for web images as I see this topic almost daily on the internet. And um, if you would like to see more content like this, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.